Hi TMJ Disorder Sufferers, Simon the Shiatsu Guy here. This is my video series on how to get relief from your TMJ symptoms. In these uh, particular uh, videos at the moment we're looking at some of the causes of TMJ disorder. This one is on posture. Um, obviously posture is uh, a big thing for many desk dwellers, you know, desk um, workers these days, because we sort of the new factory of the 21st century, we're all in our cubicles, uh, on, our, um, uh, on our computers, and also often on our smartphones and tablets and things. There's a lot of stuff going on with, with posture, particularly around the upper back and neck. And I'll turn the side on so you can see. Um, hopefully, correct posture, long back, long neck, uh, and there's sort of like head balanced over the shoulders and the hips and the feet if you're standing um, or over the shoulders and the hips if you're sitting. When we are um, working at our computers we tend to do this. So what happens is the head tilts back to sort of compensate which tightens up these muscles, the neck is kind of, uh, these muscles get um, shortened and um, pull the head forwards um, and the, the shoulders round, so there's a whole knock-on effect of uh, misalignment, let's say. But when this goes to this, tightens up the muscles here, tightens up the muscles here, tightens up the muscles here. So correcting your posture is, is a key to um, sorting out your TMJ issues. Um, it's a kind of opposite rotation of the head, so doing this, need to move it back. Exercise for the back, strengthen the back. Um, yoga, Pilates, uh, I would even say kettlebells. These guys here. Um, kettlebell swing strengthens all the muscles from your Achilles tendon to the base of the skull. So that could be something um, we put that into a later video. Um, but it's definitely important to work on your posture. Um, yeah, it's kind of up to you as well. I mean, physical treatments um, can help release the tension, which might be causing some of the postural um, problems, but basically you're gonna to have to do the stretches and exercises yourself. Uh, desk ergonomic assessment will cover that too later on, I think. All right, until the next video, see you soon.